morning everybody how you doing today i'm doing well thank you for asking welcome to another episode of the body beatdown i'm michael your gosh darn incredible gosh darn daggum host daggum it dag nab it anyway this is a little segment that i like to call walk and talk we won't do a super long video. Sometimes my videos run a little long. It is Sunday morning. It is nippy out. A uh, little bit nippy, but it's beautiful out. Sun's out. Beautiful. <clears throat> it won't be long that we'll all be begging for fall because it's going to turn spring and summer which feels good for about a minute but you quickly are looking forward to that fall weather which I love I love the fall weather love I love <laughs> fall weather so today is technically my day off, but guess what? You don't technically get a day off and do nothing. You get a day that you just do a little bit less. And usually on my day off, I get in a walk. Most times I'll also get in a spin on the old bike. And uh, usually the weights are the one thing that I don't do on my day off. I give my body a little bit of a break from that kind of stress. Even though in the back of my mind, I'm wanting to do like some lightweight dumbbell curls. I didn't do them yesterday on my deadlift day. Uh, typically on my deadlift day, I'll do some lightweight dumbbell curls or some kind of curls just to kind of hit my arms just a little bit more. Because, uh, on my arm day, I'm not able to hit them super hard because I got bad arms. So, I, but by the time I was done with my deads yesterday, I really didn't feel like doing much of nothing else. So, it just kind of slipped my mind until I was ready to step out of my gym. And I was like, oh, I didn't uh, do my arms. So, anyway, you never know though. I might go ahead and do my arms. I don't do, like I said, I don't really hit them hard on uh, on my deadlift day. So if I did them today, it would just be some light weight. Yeah, we'll see. It don't really matter if I do them or not. I'm never going to have 22 inch pythons. Arr. Not this day and time anyway. So, uh, having said that, tomorrow, well, where am I at? Having said that, let me put the camera over here, give this arm a break. Uh, tomorrow starts a new week, of course, Monday. Monday is my leg day. And if I'm following my little routine that I decided to make up, for the next six to eight weeks or so i'm basically just going to be doing my compact hack press so it's going to be a little difficult for me to stick to that routine because i'm used to just doing you know what i'm used to doing but i think i'm going to try and do it uh number one to see how i feel about it by the time i'm done with the uh six weeks or so number two hey it keeps it pretty simple I can literally go ahead and write out my workout schedule for the next, you know, five weeks, because I already did one week. I can literally go ahead and write it all down and have it ready to go if I wanted. So, because I, I know what I'm doing. But we'll see, we'll see. If you made it this far, Mac Bean Scottish Fitness. 
want to send you a, a special shout out today hope you have a good day i know you're on a little road trip if i'm not mistaken and uh he's a cool guy go check out his youtube channel mac bean scottish fitness m-a-c bean all one word scottish and then fitness cool guy cool guy i think you'll enjoy him So, if you don't know, I also have, oh, sorry for the movement there, but I also have a gaming channel uh, where I live stream video games and I also sometimes upload pre-recorded video game footage. Uh, it's called Old Mental Pickle. Old Mental is one word and Pickle is the second word. <sighs> I'm playing a pretty cool game right now it's very stressful and frustrating even though it's i have it on easy on easy settings so i'm not really dying but the enemies are just so overwhelming that even on easy it just it's very uh crazy it's kind of a role-playing game first person shooter-ish crazy kind of game so I recommend it. It's called Tiny Tina's something dragon wonderland something. I don't know. I got it for free. Uh, Epic Game Store was offering it for free. So I grabbed it. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there. You can also check out my other channel that I've had for like 20 years that I just recently stopped fully supporting. Mikey Sun TV, M-I-K-I-E-S-O-N TV, all one word. Uh, basically, since I've been, since I started the Body Beatdown channel, pretty much Mikey Sun TV is just kind of a dumping ground for my Body Beatdown videos just to kind of keep it going and give those people who have not switched over to the body beat down something to watch but uh i haven't created like new different cool content for that channel in a little in some time and i don't plan on it and as far as my plans for the body beat down channel uh again i kind of i gave myself a timeline of a year just to kind of see how it goes and uh you know go through 2022 and at the end of 2022 kind of assess the situation and see what i think and if i don't feel like my channel is going to grow and uh, prosper and give me what it is i'm looking for which is fortune fame riches hot females clamoring at me and no that ain't what i'm looking for but i am looking for success uh, and if it's not going to produce that for me i'll probably end it at the end of 2022 uh i'll just have to see how things go and uh and by the end of 2022 i'm gonna have a lot of videos on there and you know you can only do so much you know and at that point in time I'll either decide to completely stop YouTube altogether and because uh, that that'd be really three failed channels with Mikey Sun TV, Old Mental Pickle, and The Body Beatdown. Now, I don't push out Old Mental Pickle, really, and try to do anything fantastic with it. But, it's still, you know, it's not growing. It's not going anywhere. So, you know, you gotta kinda know when to, 
you gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them know when to walk away and know when to run you know what i'm saying i can make a song out of that so uh, like i said i'll either completely cut out and stop worrying about youtube and trying to make it and uh just kind of give up on the goals that i have and uh that or 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 i'm considering going on to my next adventure in the youtube land and picking another uh, hobby another passion and love of mine and maybe making a channel and pushing that out there you know it just depends on how i feel by the end of this year you know what i feel like uh now, tr truth be told, my main goal with Mikey Sun TV and the body beatdown, uh, the reason for the body beatdown is because I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Now, it's going to be a little bit longer video now since I'm talking. But once I got going with Mikey Sun TV in 2016 and 17 hardcore, really posting videos. Now, I've had my I've had Mikey Sun TV since. Uh, the early 2000s like 2006 or 2004 or something like that but I didn't start putting out videos really until 2016 ish something like that and and really getting a plan together by 2017 and my plan was boom I get this logo this brand that I come up with in my mind D-I-T-I -I, do it to it get up get out get rad do it to it you know my whole my whole thing i do well i wanted to push that and i wanted to try and get my shirts out there and get a name for myself and get a brand out there and get them in the stores and different things and push a good positive message and and uh, also uh to build my channel so between having a, a successful channel and having a successful brand out there you know you're looking at not only spreading a good message and doing good things and enjoying yourself and maybe helping people along the way but you're looking at making a living making a life not only for yourself now but when you're dead and gone you know it lives on and you're helping your family and you're helping people in the world still with the positive message and all that and uh and not just in, in uh, being physically active, but it started out, Mikey Sin TV, doing any and everything that brings you uh, joy and happiness with your passions and hobbies. You know, from reading a book to going bowling or cooking a meal or whatever it is that brings you joy and happiness in life, as long as you're kind of getting yourself up out and being rad and doing it to it, you know. God, I done lost track of where I'm at. But anyway, that's that's kind of where Mikey Sun TV was, you know, that I wanted it to go. I wanted to get my brand out there and my channel, and and it just failed. So, and, and I pushed it. Believe me, I've got a thousand videos up there. Especially now with me uploading all my body beatdown videos to it. Uh, yeah, lots of videos. Go check out the playlist on Mikey Sun TV. So then that brings me to the body beatdown. Well, people have told me time and time again, and then you you see videos of people talking about it time and time again and all that, that really if you're gonna do a YouTube channel, you need to stick to one thing. Well, Mikey Sun TV did everything but that. It, you know, I did everything on there. So finally I thought, okay, I'll pick one passion, one love, one hobby. And make a channel and really stick to it hence the body beat down it's all about fitness I thought okay I'll do that and uh, I'll really put all my time and effort into that well here I am you know a few months later you know the channels growing extremely slow I got maybe 50 subscribers or so which I'm happy to have, and I appreciate everyone that's there. But it seems to still be growing kind of slowly. 
So, you know, you gotta assess the situation further. You know, I might not be everyone's cup of tea. I try to have personality. I try to put on kind of a little, an actual show. I don't just like record me lifting a, a weight and then cutting off the video and uploading it. You know, that's not typically what I do. I try to have like a, a show, you know, which is something that I've, that I want. Even with Mikey Sun TV, I wanted to be a personality to have a show, you know. Hey, I wonder what's on Mikey Sun TV today. Hey, I wonder what's on the body beat down today, you know. That's what I wanted. I didn't just want to upload, you know, quick clips and hardly ever talk or connect with people. I like connecting. That to me is kind of what it's for. That's what I want to do, you know. I'm not just a a quick clip uploader. Now you will notice on the body beatdown I have been doing some uh, quick little shorts, uh, short clips, but those are just for stupid, you know, kind of fun and just maybe a quick little positive message or something like that that's totally different. But uh, my main content, I like to, I like to have a show. I like to connect with people and that's that's what I want and if I can't do it like that then I don't I don't know if I belong on YouTube you know and I know that there's other platforms out there TikTok I just can't do the TikTok thing it disgusts me there's just too many of these girls flipping and flopping around on there getting everybody's attention and it instantly pushed me away just uh from all that and that's the same thing with twitch uh twitch has possibilities as well but it has two issues one again you have chicks on there e-begging uh showing their boobs and everything else or most of it most of their you know they're sitting and wearing hardly nothing hey that's great if you're looking for that they're looking for free money and they get all the attention a lot of channels like that and and then they have another problem on Twitch where it's a real workaround to actually save your clips. You know, to save your content. You gotta go in there and after every video, manually make Twitch save your content. Or else it'll be deleted within like, you know, a month or so. You know, it don't stay up long. So I don't want that. I want my message and my content and stuff to stay around forever. You know, I don't put in all the work and effort just for someone to say, well, okay, time's up. So Twitch is out. TikTok is out. Uh, you got stuff like Instagram or something like that, you know, and oh, whatever the other one is, I don't even remember. Uh, and you got Twitter. I do Twitter. I started doing Twitter uh, a couple months ago. Uh, whenever I got kicked off of Facebook again, putting Facebook jail over absolutely nothing. I said, you know what? Uh, I gotta find some other way to get my content out there and connect with people. So I made, well, I actually had a, a Twitter account for several years. I just absolutely never used it. So I just logged back into that and started uploading stuff and, you know, but I don't really try to connect with people too much on there. I just dump stuff on there. Facebook, I try to connect. YouTube, I try to connect. Now, I don't connect with anyone on Facebook hardly ever at all. My friends list is short. I have maybe 40 friends on my friends list. A lot of them are my family and uh, a couple of them on there are friends, a couple on there are acquaintances and a couple of them on there are complete strangers. And literally nobody connects with me. Uh, I'm not their cup of tea on there either. So, cause I don't talk about news. I don't talk about politics. I don't talk about religion. I don't copy and paste stupid quotes and stupid memes and stupid TikTok videos and worthless crap. I don't do all that. And so I'm not, you know, people aren't interested in me cause I upload good uh, content that I've created Nobody wants that. They just want the same copy and paste crap that everybody's into. So, and I make that clear on there. I, I speak my mind on there 
once in a while about that and how people are blinded by all that stuff and brainwashed and they don't like to hear that so I just you know I guess I push people away by being honest and I'm gonna be honest you know I'm not gonna cookie cut or I'm not gonna what am I thinking of I'm not gonna be a cookie cutter content creator or poster or social media person I'm gonna post decent quality stuff that I have my heart behind and that I have some input I'm not gonna just copy and paste other people's crap so social media and me don't really get along a whole lot and even this video here won't connect with a lot of people most people won't even make it to this point in the video and that's cool you know my son brought up a point a little while back and he's like you know you need to rethink things dad if you want to make it nobody wants to sit around and watch you know a 50 year old man walk up and down the road nobody wants to watch you work out nobody wants to watch you know etc etc and that kind of hit home that kind of hurts a little bit maybe it's true maybe that's true i don't know but what i got to say to that is you can search youtube and uh, a lot of these other video sites where people upload videos and stuff well let's just say youtube for simple purpose here you can search youtube and find the most crazy out there stuff in the world that people are doing and they'll have hundred thousand subscribers a million subscribers 10 million subscribers millions of views millions of comments traffic you know they're successful and they're doing the most ignorant crazy outlandish stuff you've ever seen or heard in your life case in point i stumbled across a channel with a guy he might be my age he might be 10 years younger or he might be 20 years older i don't know and i can't remember his name but his channel is focused around hunting for like fairies he goes out in the woods he's got the big floppy hat on he has long straggly kind of hair and big burly beard kind of like i had he wears like outdoorsman type clothing and big boots and just you know he looks like he'd be a crazy dude <laughs> and uh he just goes and walks around in the woods shoots video looking for fairies and he'll He'll show like a little clip of a fairy that he's captured, you know, on video or whatever. And you can tell it's like CGI or something. I mean, it ain't real. Let's be honest. A huge channel. Popular channel. People love him to death. I mean, absolutely adore him. It's just the craziest stuff that makes it. And you know that guy's making some money from YouTube. You know he's getting some kickback. For that <laughs> you'll have people just doing the most crazy mundane stuff in the world and they're making it so I guess that's you know that's where I put myself you know I'm out here I'm like if you go look at Mikey's in TV there's some creative stuff going on there you know I take time to edit my videos I take time to plan some videos I take time to to figure out what I'm doing and even uh, some real skill and some labor that I put in there you'll see that in a lot of my videos no people don't want that I don't know it's weird it's it's you know you either you either make it or you don't and the rhyme or reason behind it is confusing and I guess I am doing pretty much a whole walk here I didn't mean to do that once I get going I get going you know and again that's my channel that's me that's my personality and I want to connect with people and if I have stuff to talk about I want to talk so again if you made it this far in the video you're doing good so here I am the body beat down a few months into my channel to this channel and we're pushing along. I'm hoping 
for a good outcome but you know my hopes are not up you know my hopes are not really up there but one good thing is I got all this footage to look back on myself and I do enjoy watching my own videos even the most simple raw videos that I started doing and periodically will still do all the way to videos that I've put a little bit more editing into and thought and time and effort I enjoy watching my own stuff because I like seeing what I've done what I can do where I've come from where I'm at etc etc I think it's interesting and uh, I get you know like I always say I'm my own best friend <laughs> and I really am you know I like myself because I'm a decent person and I know where I'm at I know I come from the heart with everything I do I have a passion even behind the way I look at life and the way I look at people the way I how the, the way I see the world and what's going on my opinions on things I have a good heart and a good passion behind how I feel whether you connect with it or not I guess it's up to you I have a lot of opinions that are controversial and looked down upon because I don't follow the masses i.e. religion that's one uh, black lives matter no I don't follow that every lives matter I can see concern from the black community but a lot of times let's face it you know they're their own worst enemy as as we all are a lot of times in a lot of cases you know we like to point fingers and cry and complain and moan and groan but a lot of times if you really break it down and step back uh, you can see that you're your own worst enemy racism's always going to be around whether it's blacks against whites or asians or native americans or jewish this or you know whatever that middle eastern that or whatever it is you know racism's always going to be there it's just it's human nature never going to stop so you know like i've said before there's eight billion people on this planet we're not all meant to like one another or love one another or care about one another but we could at least be nice to one another don't harm one another don't try to cancel one another accept the fact that you know things are not perfect and they're not meant to be we're not meant to all be perfect and live in harmony we're animals We're aggressive animals towards one another and towards our earth. We're destroying our earth every day. We're destroying people every day. That's what humans do. We're cockroaches. Worse than cockroaches, actually. So, Anyway, this has been a long walk and talk, guys. And even though 99.9999999% of the population out there will never see this video, I enjoy doing them. It lets me kind of vent and uh, talk about things and get things off the old chest. And, and if you listen with an open mind, I think you'll get something decent out of what I have to say. And you'll see the snot that's running out of my nose. And there's nothing I can do about it unless I want to walk around with toilet paper shoved up my nose. Which I do sometimes. It's just the way it is. Whew. And I gotta pee. And my house is over there where my bus is. See my bus way over there? 
that's my bus way over there Whew. and I always gotta pee uh, man I need to get going oh touching on a couple of things that are a little bit more fun topic if you know if you don't know or whatever I do collect the new action figures from the masters of the universe revelation uh, animated series on Netflix so this month I could be uh, getting a couple of new figures that are on pre-order if they release this month uh, they're kind of wishy-washy with their dates but possibly I'll have two new figures this month trap jaw and king gray skull and possibly within the month after possibly I'll have another four to look forward to and wave four with merman uh, a new variation of Tila, <sighs> uh, Viking He-Man and Barbarian He-Man or Skeletor, or Viking Skeletor, whatever it is. Two more variations of them, which <sighs> not really looking forward to. They should have released other figures that were in the show before that. Prince Adam, Roboto, Champ Clamp or Clamp Champ, whatever. Maybe King. And queen uh, you know they could have released a couple of other figures instead but it is what it is I'm enjoying collecting them even though they're way overpriced and kind of hard to find and you're having to jump on pre-orders and all that kind of stuff <sighs> but I am enjoying it anyway and, uh, and we'll leave off we'll leave off this walk and talk on a kind of a fun positive note there I'm gonna get done with this walk and uh oh I gotta pee <sighs> go ahead and start on tying my sweats and get ready to go pee <laughs> there's my house right there I'm almost there I'm getting there go in go pee Ooh, good lord Ooh, make breakfast and then probably hop on the bike here pretty soon and spin. Oh my God. Oh, by the way, I found another bike just like the one I have. That Schwinn Aerodyne bike. Super good price on Marketplace. I may buy another one just to have a backup. And maybe if somebody wants to come spin with me, they'll have, you know, I'll have another bike there. That's my goal is I want to get a gym and I want to have people come over, you know, and work out and train people and make videos and do stuff that's that was part of my plan with this new channel is to also do that so anyway here I am grabbing myself trying to make it home Whew. all right guys have a good day be awesome be positive inspire someone today including yourself get up get out get rad do it to it we'll see you next time on the body beat down I'm your Kind of incredible host, Michael. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!